So I'm going to start off by putting my cornea in it. Uh, this kitchen has a blind cornea in it. So we are just going to set this into place. This blind corner cabinet, we're going to run off this wall, 150 mil. So this is a, a meter cabinet. Um, so I know from here, the edge of the cabinet will be 1150. There's a cabinet in place. Um, if you come across such as sockets and stuff like this here, uh, there is a 40 mil void uh, to allow scribing and the likes of this here where you need to cut out for the socket just to give you a nice tight uh, space between the wall and the cabinet. So we'll mark that and that. So now that we have our cabinet, more or less where we're going, um, and rebed it out for the socket, we're going to line the cabinet to the wall. So, working with their bird level, that's pretty good. Our, this particular build has a, a blind corner unit. Uh, your blind corner unit comes with a pre-drilled uh, blanking panel. So your blanking panel will be fitted on and that's just basically to stop anything that you put into this cupboard falling out into your void. So to fit your external corner post, uh, measure from the edge of your cabinet to 500. This door that's been installed onto this cabinet will be a 496. So I'm measuring the cabinet 500 mil, making a mark, and this is where your external corner post will run. Mark for your corner post will be running. Just to the back. So I know that. When my corner post is fitted here, that the back of the corner post will be in line with that. This is where we use thumbnail clips, we thumbnail L brackets to fix our corner post top and bottom. So we'll fix those now. Clamp on our corner post till our mark lines. And here we just check that we're straight the whole way down. You should have 18 mil. Yep. And then fix the corner post. So we're going to install our flanking panel or pre-drilled holes. So with the blanking cabinet, uh, basically where it will go, uh, with the adjoining cabinet, we will get it leveled up to the line again. So uh, at this stage what I usually like to do is um, to make sure that the cabinets are square to each other, Let's take a measurement, uh, here we have 60 mil, and then make sure that it's running 60 mil through the back. Uh, just a bit of scrap wood across the back of the cabinet, secure it to this cabinet, and then from the inside of this cabinet to there, just to keep everything square. So that there, with that fitted, that'll keep everything square and tight for when you put your worktop on.